I'm Minerva and I am based at the Center for Environmental Policy at Imperial College London and I, well, it's difficult to describe what I really do. I am a forester, that's one way of putting it, and I'm a tropical ecologist by training, but I, what I do is that I use data, including data from remote sensing satellites, and I combine that with field collected data, the data that I collect in the field, to study the impact of forest loss on carbon stocks and biodiversity, mainly in Southeast Asia. So in that sense, I'm a conservationist, I'm an ecologist, I'm a forester because that's the ecosystem I study. And most importantly, fourth, I'm a data scientist because I work with machine learning, data science techniques, imagery, and now, well, a little bit of artificial intelligence. So I'm a lot of things. What I like is also what I dislike. Uh, the, what I like is that it gives me, I mean, at this point, since I, uh, I'm not in a position to hire PhDs and postdocs, I have to go to the field myself and collect a lot of data. So I collect data relating to avian biodiversity, forest structure, and so on. And as a part of that, I've been able to do field work in Borneo, where I lived, Cambodia, Philippines, Laos, I think most of Southeast Asia except for a few countries and that's what I really like that I can actually go out there, collect these data and come back and the fact that I get to go to these lovely places and collect the data, I really like it. It's all going to be okay in the end and if it's not okay it's not the end because I went through periods of severe anxiety when I was growing up about my future as a teenager what what's going to happen to me and so on and am I going to end up somewhere in life I mean my anxiety was fueled by my teachers I mean who would tell me day in and day out that I was a fat ugly loser who was not going to amount to anything in life and that made me super anxious about my future perhaps maybe more than my peers. Now, what I'd like to tell myself and other people is no matter how bad your situation is, it's going to be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, just go on pushing through, pushing through. It's going to be okay.